Congressman, welcome. We're glad to have you here. So you. how was the meeting? I mean, it was a good meeting, a, a strategic meeting, a planning meeting to tell what we've accomplished and where we're headed uh, forward. And, and obviously you support Trump. Was yeah, there discussion yes. about this magic 1,237 delegates, the chances of making it, especially with help from your home state of Pennsylvania? Uh, yes, there was. This 1237 is obtainable. It's an uphill battle but it's worth fighting uh, given the fact that the numbers are showing uh, for Trump very good in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and that's going to be a tremendous boost. So what are you doing on the ground to help that effort? Well, I am the, the chair of the Trump campaign for the state of Pennsylvania. My colleague, Lou Barletta, who is the district next to me, is my co-chair. And we've actually been uh, doing a lot of groundwork. We've opened up offices across the state. We have volunteers coming in. People are putting signs up. They're delivering signs. They're making phone calls. They're knocking on doors. And they're getting more volunteers in, involved in this uh, race. And let me tell you something, it's not only Republicans. It's not, okay, so you're seeing what perhaps we already saw in Massachusetts, which yeah. is to say that 20,000 people registered as Republicans who were formerly Democrats just so they could vote for Donald Trump. That's correct. I think we're about in the 60,000s now in uh, Pennsylvania, maybe even more. And it's, uh, it's not a, it is a phenomenon to a certain extent, but if you really think about this, people are just fed up with Washington, insiders, uh, career politicians, my question has always been, how's it been going the last 30 years with governors and senators and career politicians being president? Not well. Okay, so Congressman, I want to ask you, we're monitoring an event, a fundraising event, where Donald Trump will be speaking momentarily. Yes. Someone else is at the podium at the moment, but there's also tons of protesters outside of that event. So sure. how do you help a candidate who has tons of support from people such as yourself, but also has some of the highest negatives ever seen on record, something like 70% with women, half the population of the U.S. Well, we, uh, from my perspective and my colleagues' perspective, we should be giving advice. We should be sharing with uh, Donald what we hear from uh, our constituents. And, and this, as far as people protesting, I support the First Amendment. People have a right to protest. But uh, the troublemakers and the instigators and the violent people, uh, they should be arrested. And these people probably aren't even voters. They're just there, there to, to stir up an issue. Well, but sometimes the people tell me district. sometimes they are recruited by, by Craigslist. Congressman, we have to leave it yeah. there. We thank okay. you, though. My pleasure. Pennsylvania Congressman, Trump supporter Tom Marino.